warfare. In a recent conflict that happened in Asia, you're probably tracking that. Where would one country attack? Let's say Pakistan would attack India. Where would they attack from? What kind of attack would it be? Let's say I could tell you that. I could tell you when that would happen. Right. I could tell you that three days from now it would happen. And then if they sort of increase their defenses, then how should they do it to be most effective? That is the kind of question we are able to now answer mm -hmm. quite effectively and operationally. Well, sadly, uh, you predicted the start of the war in Ukraine. Yeah, we did, to the day. Uh, we, we, we were off by one day. Right. And, and some of it is also, you know, some most of it is just mathematics. I mean, mm -hmm. it's a... Uh, Patterns of behavior that machines can pick up better than any human can at scale. And, and the ability to sort of, no matter which country you are, you cannot operate large militaries without certain organized Movement. behavior. Yep. Right. And no matter how good you think you are at deception, you, there'll always be things you'll give away. Mm -hmm. And so it's those pieces we pick up very easily through commercial sensing. No government, including the U.S. government, will ever be able to match the combined power of the commercial world to pick up what's going on oh. on our planet or in space or wherever or in the cyberspace. Mm -hmm. Even China? Not even China. Not even close. They cannot afford it. They would go bankrupt. Because the, the total corporate uh, strength, the, the entire sort of the investments on collection for, not for intelligence, but for business purposes that has been done, is so spectacularly large uh, that no, no government can afford it.